Jai Hind children, today we will be doing chapter 6, Nouns, Possession. So the word possession, it means ownership, okay, to belong, the belonging of something, alright. So in this chapter, we will be talking about the possessive form of a noun. So here in this picture, you can see there are two questions, okay. The first question is, what is a possessive noun? Give example. So, a possessive noun shows ownership or belonging of someone or something in a sentence by adding an apostrophe sign, an S or both. So, you all know how an apostrophe sign looks, okay? Let's see for example, my father's bag. So, in this sentence, father's is your possessive noun. Why? Because the bag, it belongs to my father. So, it is showing the ownership. The ownership of the bag, it belongs to my father. So, in this word, F-A-T-H-E-R, we are using the apostrophe sign and an S. Alright, so my father's bag. The word father's is your possessive noun here. This is Krishna's shop. So, the word Krishna <coughs> has an apostrophe sign and an S. So, Krishna's shop, the, the word Krishna's is your possessive noun here. All right. Now the next question, mention the points to remember while using the possessive forms of nouns. Okay, so here we'll be uh, talking about few points that we need to remember while using the possessive forms of nouns. Okay, the following points are, we use apostrophe S with singular nouns not ending in S. Okay, please be careful, try to understand. We use the apostrophe and S both, okay, with singular nouns that do not end in the letter S. For example, this is Sumit's book. Okay, so in this sentence, you can see the word Sumit. S-U-M-I-T, Sumit is a singular noun. Okay, why? Because the word Sumit is the name of a boy, isn't it? Just one boy we are talking about here. So, Sumit's boy. So, the word Sumit is a singular noun and it does not end in the letter S. It does not end with the letter S. So, that's why we are using the apostrophe sign and an S here. Next point, we use only apostrophe sign when a plural noun ends with an S. So, here we'll be using apostrophe sign when a plural noun, it ends with the letter S. Alright, for example, we celebrated Teacher's Day yesterday. So here you can see teachers. T-E-A-C-H-E-R-S. Teachers. This is a plural noun. Okay. This word is a plural noun. So that's why. And it is ending with the letter S. So that's why we are only going to use the sign apostrophe here. Okay. And the last point is. We use apostrophe S with plural nouns not ending in s okay so now in this last point it says that we use apostrophe s with plural nouns that do not end with the letter s for example these are children's toys so you can see here c-h-i-l-d-r-e-n children is the plural noun plural form of a noun so that's but it does not end with the letter s okay so that's why here we'll be using the apostrophe s these are children's toys Okay, so I hope you got my point. So these are the points that you need to be careful while using the possessive nouns. Okay, so here I have sent you the picture of the exercises of this chapter. Okay, so the first one is use apostrophe form to the phrases. So in this, these, are, uh, these phrases have been given here. You have to use the apostrophe form. Alright, just try to do it the second uh, section is make sentences by using following possessions so uh, here are the um, phrases again phrases have been given here you have to make a, make sentences using these all right uh, and the last one is use an apostrophe in the following sentences here again you have to make use of an apostrophe in these sentences so these are quite simple all right try to do it yourself and after a few days i'll be sending you the answers so you can check them later on all right so we'll stop here today and do this much 